And we had an official upset alert. This video is brought to you via the Doctrine of Fair Use to Fair Dealing. And we're also covered under the Digital Millennium Act. I'm your host, Good Energy. That's right, guys. The underdog, Emma Navarro, on a numeric lock, ladies and gentlemen. She takes this match in straight sets. Now, listen, guys. If I know who's going to win the match before the match starts, now you understand why I don't allow the disrespect to the players, guys. Don't let that one go over your head. Paula Badosa dropped the first set. Numeric lock. Emma Navarro, the underdog. Now, listen, guys. My schedule coming off of the holiday weekend, very busy. I wanted to get a preview and prediction video out. I just could not get it. So much going on. But the reality here, guys, Emma Navarro wins this match in straight sets. That's right. Numeric lock. She was also numeric lock against Coco. Bet you guys didn't know that as well. But the reality here is she played phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. 35 unforced errors on the racket of Paula Badosa. Vamos! Listen, guys, in the second set, Paula Badosa was even up a break. But I say the toughest thing to do in a professional tennis match is hold on seven double faults from Paula Badosa. A lot of double faults now, not necessarily 19 like Coco had. Now, listen, guys, when we talk about double faults, this is we're going to pivot to Coco. This is a big Coco channel. We know that. Do you know how tough and strong you have to be to serve 19 double faults, give away five service games and only lose by four service games? Do you know how exhausting it is to get the ball literally over the net at 125 miles per hour, 119 miles per hour on a second serve? 19 double faults. That's not counting the lets in the, the first serves he did win. That is exhausting. Do you know how much of a fighter Coco is? She is fighting. I can't even imagine 19 double faults, guys. This is not. Now, I talked about Elena Rabakina in the community. She had a stretch, and this is documented, and this is how I can tell people aren't watching tennis. And they just come to the comments to talk trash. She had a stretch there where she went from literally one double fault to two double faults a match up to eight double faults a match, nine, 10. She was double faulting a lot. And we're not even talking about the faults where she had 49% service games, 50% first serves in, 60% first serves. She was consistently in the 50s, below the 60s in terms of her first serves in. She was faulting up a storm. It was a big story. And I'm like, if you don't know about this, then you're not watching tennis. And the reality here is, look, it was talked about in the interview. She was struggling now, not quite like 19 double faults or arena fault Alinka, where arena was averaging 20 double faults during that span. It wasn't that bad, right? But if you're averaging one or two double faults a match and now you're averaging eight, nine, you're having matches where you have double digit double faults. That's an issue. You're well below your productivity and your average. That is a concern. So I think a lot of people, when we talk about double faults now, Sabalinka or Coco might be the norm where it's like, hey, well, they didn't have 20 double faults. But listen, Serena Williams, and look, I forgot more tennis knowledge over the years than, you know, some people have learned. But the reality here is Serena, I'm pretty sure for her career, she averaged what? just under two double faults, closer to one. Sharina, for her career, didn't even average two double faults. So she was very efficient, known as the best server of all time. And she's not as tall as Rebecca. And Ashley Barty was a good server. She's very short. So, But I do say it all the time, the, the taller players are normally the better servers. They have a, a long wingspan. They, they have a long extended reach. It's easier to clear the ball over the net with their height and, and, their, and their arm length. Yeah, we know that. And I also say the taller players are normally historically the biggest falters and double falters because the best servers generally fault a lot. It, it just goes hand in hand with the metrics. But the reality here, guys, I can't even imagine 19. How is that even possible? How is 19 double faults even possible? Listen, either Coco's injured and look, Brad's getting a lot of the blame for the technique. But at some point, you, you just got to get the ball in play. I don't maybe there's something going on that we don't even know. How do you get 19 double faults in a match? 
How's that possible? I don't even know how that's even possible. Coco's a strong woman. She's fighting a lot out there. I'm telling you guys, she is fighting battles we don't even know exist. She literally had 19 double faults, gave away five service games, and still only lost by four service games. You telling me that girl's not fighting a lot out there in the court? She is fighting to win. You guys have no idea. She is so strong and tough. She is a strong young lady, and I think that's going to go over a lot of people's heads. She is so strong. 19 double faults. I, don't, I seriously don't even know how that's even possible. I don't know how that's possible, but she is fighting, and so is Emma Navarro, guys. She takes this match, and did you see the interview where she talked about her favorite Italian restaurant in New York City, how her family couldn't pronounce the name? You guys buying that story? I don't know if I'm buying that story, guys. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of press here that, you know, did you see Emma uh, rapping with, with the, uh, the USA team? what's up here it's, she's likable but i don't know if she's trying a little i think she's trying a little too hard but she's likable i say it all the time she's a classy woman i don't think she needs to try that hard i think they're trying i think they're trying a little bit too hard with her just let her game speak and right now she's getting the results she gets the victory here guys 71 percent of her first serves in really good 71 percent won and she won literally 80 percent nearly of paula bedosa's second serve forced paula bedosa into 35 unforced errors an amazing match. Paula Bedosa was up a break in the second set, but couldn't hold on. Emma Navarro is going to take on Sabalenka or Queenland next. The head-to-head -head is 1-1 one -one against Sabalenka. Remember that Indian Wells match where she upset Sabalenka? But remember the Olympic match with Queenland where she said a lot of things about Queenland. Yeah, we're going to go check out the video. I made a video on that. Oh, that was on the other channel. You know what? I'm going to upload that. That video did like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe... 10,000 views or something like that. I might re-upload that to this channel here, ladies and gentlemen, because that is very darn interesting. But again, thank you guys for the love and support. I appreciate the people that come here with good energy. Look, the channel has consistently grown every year. And again, I say this all the time. I don't do this for likes or views because look, YouTube's, YouTube is wild. This, this, this is, I'm a real person. This is a real channel. There's a lot of fake stuff out here. I don't think people get it. But I know that you guys are loyal and the ones that do support the channel, because when I look at my metrics, the people that watch my videos, they watch the entire video. And YouTube tells me so, because I know, because again, this here is about the love for tennis, is about the passion for covering these players. They're all amazing. And I thank you guys for the love and support. Again, some of these channels a view, you could watch a video for like three seconds. It counts as a view. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> doesn't mean they get paid off of that. When you watch an entire video, the person that's making the video, he knows you're watching the entire video because YouTube tells me. So thank you guys for the love and support. And again, perception is not always reality.